hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel programming knowledge in today's microsoft excel tutorials video we are going to see some of the shortcuts that we can use of some of the keys that are present on the keyboard which are of general functions like the arrow keys space tab backspace enter keys etc along with the combination of alt keys and then we are going to see the usage of these keys along with the combination of shift keys okay so these are two topics that we are going to cover in this video let us start with the video for your reference as always on the left side of the sheet you can see there is a table that contains the names of the keys and the function that they perform along with alt keys so if you want to refer it to it any time you can refer it very easily and simultaneously i'm going to show you a practical demonstration of each of these keys so let us start with the first combination that is alt plus down arrow key now the first three are left blank because there is no function that is performed with these shortcuts alt down is the only shortcut out of these four arrow keys that is valid and that performs some action if you see it is used to use a drop down list so what is actually a drop down list it is slightly similar from the dependent drop down list that we have seen in the previous video so what is its function let's see suppose i'm uh, adding some names in a sheet okay so what i have got is a task to add names in a sheet and i'm adding some names like uh, i got to add sam roger tom chris robert and again i got to add sam then i got william then i got george again we have an occurrence of tom and so on so this is a small list but imagine if you have thousand names and all these names are recurring and you got to add all these names in the sheet so you got to manually type these names and then insert the records but luckily microsoft excel has got a solution for this problem so what you got to do is simply press alt and down arrow key from your keyboard when you have made some of the entries and then what you get is a drop down list out of which you can select anything you want and you can see that this drop down list contains all these names that you have already entered arranged in ascending order from chris george robert roger sam tom william and if you have noticed one thing that sam is present here sam is present here so there are duplicate records for sam tom is also present twice so there are duplicate records for tom as well so uh, this list ignores that thing and gives you a unique occurrence of each of these names so if you want to select any name out of this you can simply use arrow keys i want to add robert you can add it then press enter again press alt drop down or the down arrow key select any name like sam press enter again press enter and by this way you can add names as many times as you want in the less time okay so this helps you to create a drop down list for you uh, reference then the next shortcut key that we have is alt space key it is used to bring out a control box now what is a control box let's see this is what is known as a control box we can use the restore function in it we can use the minimize function in it we can use the close function in it so this is actually the uh, control box using which you can apply controls on your windows okay so that was the usage of the control box then alt tab which is used to switch between applications or go to a next application but there is a constraint the next application must be opened then only you can go to the next application so uh, let us test it if i press alt tab you can see i have got a series of uh, these 
applications that I have opened and I can toggle between them by repeatedly pressing the tab key. Suppose I want to open notepad, I just release this tab key and the alt key and I get to this notepad window. Again, I want to switch back to my Microsoft Excel window, then I can do that as well. But uh, actually, this is a shortcut that could be used with any Windows application. So we cannot say that precisely it is an Excel shortcut, but this is a shortcut of the Windows. So uh, it can be used with any Windows application, okay, not only Microsoft Excel. Then Alt Backspace helps you to undo any action that you have already done. Suppose I have written something like hello, I write here and again I write hello. But I realize that I do not want two hellos, I only want one. So all you got to do is press Alt and Backspace from your keyboard and it would help you to undo your action. Again, you want to undo it. Again, you got to press Alt Backspace. Then Alt Enter helps you to create multiple lines in a single cell. Suppose uh, there is a form that you are filling and you get this field that is address field. So what you got to do is enter your address over here. So generally what happens is an address is a combination of several things, house number, locality, area, city and so on. So usually the address does not comes into a single uh, line and it spans through multiple lines. So for better readability, what you got to do is you can add any text in multiple lines using the shortcut Alt Enter. Suppose I write line one, then I press Alt Enter. I can write line two. Again, I can press Alt Enter line three. And if I press Enter, then I go to the next cell. So you can th uh, see that these three lines have been added in the same cell. And that's how uh, it works. Okay. Now, Alt page up is used to shift left via screen, but we are going to see it afterwards. First of all, we are going to see the usage of Alt page down. If you just uh, use the page down key is actually situated just beside your uh, up arrow key. So if you use Alt page down, it will shift your sheet with a single screen towards the right. You can see like this. And if you want to shift it to the left, then you got to press Alt page up like this repeatedly. If you want to see it clearly right now, I have till P. So if I press Alt page down once, then I have till Z. Now, if I press Alt page up, then again, I have got my original screen back. Now, one thing you all must know that we have not got any visible help or visual aid for these like we get in the general Alt. Uh, key shortcuts. So this is not related to that. This is different. Uh, and if you just press the alt key and you got these options and now if you try to press page down or page up, then this feature does not work because you got to press alt page down simultaneously or alt page up simultaneously as in the normal shortcuts. So this was all about the alt keys. Now let us look at the shortcuts that we get with the help of shift keys. So here we have all these shortcuts. These are very general shortcuts and you must be aware of some of them. Like if you use the shift and the left arrow key, then what happens is you can select all the cells that are from left. Similarly, if you press shift and the right arrow keys, then all these selections would be done on the right side of the cell that you have selected. The shift and the up arrow key would help you to select all the cells upwards the selected cell. Shift down arrow will do the same thing for the downside. Then what happens if you want to select a particular row? Suppose I'm in this row and I want to select this whole row. So what I can do is simply press shift space bar. Actually shift space bar and this would help me to select this whole row of the sheet cause my active cell was here. But what if your active cell is inside the table? Then what happens is you can only select this whole row of the table. But if you are in the sheet, which is not associated with any table, then whole of this row of the sheet would be selected. 
Now, if you want to move towards the right, we know tab is the shortcut. But if you want to move left, all you got to do is press shift tab. Similarly, to move to a down cell or to change rows, you got to press enter key. But if you want to move upwards, you got to press shift M, uh, shift and enter to move upwards. So this is how it works. These are all the shortcut that we have got with the shift key and a combination of all these keys. So in this video, we have covered about some of the shortcuts of the alt keys and the shift keys. I hope you all have enjoyed it and learned something new from this video. Thanks for watching.